Why should you want to go viral? Well, more eyeballs and attention means more business for your brand. And this is critical nowadays. We're living in an attention-based society. And with attention comes opportunity. Are you a content creator? Well, brands will pay for the attention you're gathering. Are you a business owner? Viewers will pay for your product. Are you a teacher? Students will pay for your lessons. Having viral content in this day and age is so critical because it's gonna build your brand and your business. So how do you do it? Let's look at seven tips to help you go viral on TikTok and Instagram today. First, you wanna make your content relatable. When people see something that they connect with, they tend to wanna like it, engage with it, and share it. There's a behavior to share content with your friends or on your Instagram story or with a family member when the content seems to get you or seems in on the joke or understands something that you understand. So you can take advantage of this behavior by designing content around relatability. Try posing a question that a lot of people want an answer to and then answering it in a profound or fun way. Try commenting on a current or trending event. Unbox a brand new product while everybody's interested and in talking about it. These are all relatable things. They're current, they're of the news, they're what people are talking about. This relatability will help trigger people to share the content. So before you post your content, always ask yourself, is this relatable? Will people want to share this? The next tip is length of content. A lot of people ask, what's the best length of content these days? Do I wanna go long form? Do I wanna go short form? On TikTok and Instagram, should it be a minute? Should it be less? A lot of people are questioning this, but I'm here to tell you that the length of your content really isn't what matters. Sure, a short five to seven second video might garner a lot of views, but how much substance is there behind that video? The important factor here is that you're providing enough content and substance within the time limit that your content is. TikTok's putting a little bit more emphasis behind videos that are at least a minute long, Instagram Reels will cap at 90 seconds, but they'll also let you post a video up to 15 minutes that can live in the Reels feed. So there is some interest in longer form content these days. So overall, the length of your video doesn't necessarily matter. It's more that substance and another key factor that is not losing your audience while they watch through your video. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. The next tip is hook and retention. When you're creating content, you wanna grab the viewer's attention right away, within that first three to five seconds. This is your hook. You could use text to motivate someone to keep watching the video. You could tease the best part of what's to come in the video. You could use a shocking reveal or a shocking moment, something suspenseful. There's a lot of different ways that you can tease and hook your viewer in, but you need to make sure that you're doing this in the first three to five seconds of your video so that someone doesn't just look at it quickly, swipe away, and it's gone forever. You want them to stay. Now the retention part of this comes after the hook. Once you've got that viewer, you wanna ensure that you're keeping them entertained throughout the duration of your video. Now, a lot of folks out there say that that means that you should be swapping interest every three to five seconds throughout the video. Now, that doesn't have to be crazy jarring switches and B-roll and cuts. That can mean a few different things. You could have text captions on your screen. You could adjust the audio every few seconds, adding sound effects or something to spice it up just to grab that viewer's brain and ensure that they're still paying attention. You could use a simple graphic that pops up. You could cut the angle of your video. There's a lot of different options that you could do, but you wanna be doing this consistently consistently, especially at long drawn out parts of your video so that the viewer doesn't get bored. And in all of this, if you're worried that you're not entertaining the viewer throughout, then think about shortening your video. Less is more in a lot of cases because you're gonna get a larger percentage watched on your video. The fourth tip is to add some sort of value. You want to bring something to your viewers, whether that's entertainment value, educational value, something that they can walk away with and feel like they've gained by watching your content. It could be a laugh from the entertainment factor or the comedy in your video. It could be a smile or a tear from the emotional factor in your video. It could be knowledge from the educational factor in your video. The main point here is that you wanna be providing the viewer with something to go away with. The next tip is human touch. And by this, I just mean that there should be a human element to your footage. Videos or thumbnails or images with you in them are gonna do a lot better 
than videos or content that doesn't have any person in it, that's just a graphic or just text. The human element goes a long way. Be authentic and genuine when you're on camera as well. People like to see genuine people. They wanna get a sense that you're just having a conversation with them. So just feel relaxed, ease into it, take your time when you're shooting your video, and just feel like you're having a conversation with the viewers. I know this is a hard one for a lot of people, but give it your best shot and try to get that human element into your content. The next tip for viral videos is captions. Captions are so critical nowadays because a lot of people are scrolling through their phones and they're watching videos either really quietly or without sound and they wanna get a sense of what you're saying. And if they see you talking, they can't hear something right now, they're in a busy place, they might just swipe past. So adding captions to your videos will help people consume your content in all different ways. The other thing that captions do is they add movement and elements to your screen which help with retention, which we talked about earlier. You can do captions in a number of ways, make them creative, add emojis, add graphics. That's a nice way to spice it up that people are doing now that can add to that retention through your captions. Captions can also make things shareable across languages because you could have translations into other languages so that people can share your content, even if it's filmed in English, in other languages across the world. When I'm looking to do captions, I use a service called rev.com. I've got a link to rev down below. You can check it out. They're an amazing tool online that you just submit your video and it will spit out the captions for you very quickly. It does a fantastic job. It's made a world of a difference when I'm trying to create content like this to provide me with fantastic captioning. So check it out, rev.com. I've got a link down below. The final tip is sizing, and this is really critical nowadays in a world where there are so many different aspect ratios, it's very confusing how your final footage should look. The best sizing right now for your videos is vertical content. That's nine by 16, 1080 by 1920 is typically the best for right now. This is the way that you're gonna fill up a person's phone screen and ensure that they're getting the maximum viewership of your content. You always wanna be careful when you're posting or preparing a video for something like Instagram or TikTok for the borders, the edges. Sometimes when you post, they'll cut it off a little bit or there will be little like buttons or graphics that cover part of your frame. So ensure that you're keeping your content sort of towards the center of that frame so that nothing gets cut off when you post. So there it is, seven principles to help you go viral on Instagram and TikTok and in the digital space nowadays. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions for me. Go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and we'll be back with a whole lot more.